Have you ever heard of onion skin paper, the thin translucent paper that's also known as airmail paper? It has some amazing qualities to it. For one thing, it's fantastic with fountain pens. Now imagine taking that paper, binding it, and putting it into a fantastic journal with some interesting properties. That's just what we're going to look at today. My name is Hemingway Jones and I speak about fountain pens, inks, journals and journaling, but more importantly, inspiration. And today we're going to find our inspiration in the Onion Skin Journal. The Onion Skin Journal is a company that's owned by Vanessa Root, also known as the poet Remy Road. Poet, designer, journaler, entrepreneur. She has quite the resume. She was inspired to start this company when she wanted to really get into journaling to help her to get beyond some of the challenges and struggles that she was going through at the time. And she always wanted a journal that would lie flat. So that was her inspiration. So coupling this with her love for onion skin paper, and you get this fantastic, beautiful journal with the inspiration inspirational symbols on the cover that just will help you to be inspired to journal to take notes or as I am doing with it to write some poems. So I just find it as a fantastic journal to reconnect with a part of your life that maybe you have not been paying enough attention to. I think the biggest thing that makes these journals special is the paper. Onion skin paper is getting more and more difficult to find and finding it bound into a fantastic journal is just a rarity. So it's an absolute delight. Let's take a look at the onion skin paper. So this is how the journal comes in this beautiful burlap cover with the Ouroboros on there, a symbol of rebirth and recovery. So the inspiration starts right away. And then as you pull this cover away, this beautiful journal is revealed. This is the This Is My Story journal with this gorgeous gold letterings on this hard linen cover. Very nice binding. And you can see on the binding it says the Onion Skin Journal. It's written the way that books have their bindings in Europe, so it will stand out even more on your shelves. As you can see, it's a good sized journal. It's very slim, tidy, hardcover, very tough. This has been in my bag now for two weeks and has really no single scratch on it. So very robust journal, very pretty, very well done. The edges, everything very tight. The binding as well is a Smith binding which is a way of getting the journal to lie flat. So you can see that anywhere where you are with this journal, you can simply press it down and it will lie flat for you. So that is a huge selling point and it's a consequence of a Smith binding, which is a method of binding that takes groups of the paper, sews them together, and then stitches a stack of those together and binds them with a hard cover. The end papers are also very lovely and very stiff, but the biggest thing to see here is this gorgeous onion paper. Onion paper has some fantastic qualities. It's very translucent. It's very strong relative to its weight, but Maybe more importantly for our purposes, it's absolutely brilliant with fountain pens. When you write with a fountain pen on this paper, it 
just gives you so much character. You can see beautiful shading and color variation. This is Oxblood ink on this fantastic paper. It's also very smooth and an absolute joy to write. You get this sense that you're just pushing the ink along with the delicate end of your nib into lovely loops, troweling it around your cursive words, your letters, and just forming really beautiful shapes as you write. It's an absolutely beautiful tactile experience. Now, onion skin, of course, is nearly transparent. When I was a kid, we used to call it tracing paper. But fortunately, Vanessa includes this lovely card with both lines and a dot grid. So whichever you prefer to put behind your paper for writing. It's also handy to have one of those Birmingham Pen Company fountain pen nib clips to hold it in place. It's very aesthetic and it's just a lovely way to hold it so that it doesn't shift around because the paper is so thin that as you write, it's easy for it to migrate on top of the liner paper. So this clip holds it in place, or you could also use something like a small business binder. But where's the romance in this? If you're someone who doesn't like bleed through, this is not the paper for you. You can see some of your writing from three pages away. I love seeing all the shading, all the interesting character of my writing. And if I want to focus on it specifically without any bleed through, I just simply put the paper behind it. And then it's like any other journal, except it's still amazingly smooth and tactile and just incredible to write on. I love this paper. But it being translucent also gives you some other advantages. It's really interesting to sort of get an x-ray vision of what your writing looks like in the reverse. It's really beautiful. You can see all that shading and all the use of color. You also get this fantastic layering effect, which if you're an artist, you could use to your advantage. You could have a very dark picture and put at least one more layer on top of it if you wished, maybe two. Now for my poems here, you can see the remnants of some poems maybe three pages further. So very interesting. But I think the most beautiful thing about this is just the quality, the tactile nature of this paper. It is very light and very strong relative to its weight, which makes it a lot of fun to use, but you do want to be careful when you're turning pages. You don't want to tear it. Now here you can see some of the Smith binding, which is pretty interesting. I love seeing the threads. I love seeing the remnants of an artisanal formation of a book. So absolutely amazing there. So you get 320 pages of this amazing paper. I find myself being even more inspired to write some poems using this fantastic journal. One of the beautiful things about it is that it is so hard that you almost feel as if you're writing on a clipboard, which is a really nice feeling if you're balancing your journal on your knee or writing out back under a tree or out in a park or out and about in the city. It's a fantastic travel journal for that reason. Of course, you also have a lovely ribbon page marker, which comes in handy quite a bit as well. Let's go through the pros and cons of this marvelous journal and then talk about the value proposition. So first, the pros. For one thing, Onion Skin has amazing, unique properties and everyone should try it at least once in their lives. It's an amazing paper for showing shading, for a beautiful experience of writing. It'll make a pen feel even smoother on this. This is a polished ice rink of a paper. It's just an absolute joy to write on that makes you want to get even more words down on that beautiful, translucent, very strong relative to its weight paper. Absolutely brilliant there. 
Another point that I like very much is that this journal lies flat. That is so convenient. It makes it easy to write all the way across the page. It's also very nice for your hand placement for a very comfortable feel while you're journaling. Along those same lines, another very positive attribute of this journal is that the cover is quite stiff. So it acts as a clipboard when you're writing. You can write standing up, as you've seen me do quite often, or balancing on your knee or out in the grass or anywhere else. That is a fantastic feature. This journal also holds 320 pages, which is quite a few pages for your various jottings and poems and journaling. That's a lot of pages, so very, very good there. Another positive is that these journals are made in the United States of America. They are done artisanally by a third generation bookbinder and completely designed by Vanessa Root, who is a very talented designer in putting these fantastic and unique journals together. Well, I would be remiss if I didn't share with you some of the cons of using this Onion Skin Journal. And its greatest strength is also its greatest weakness, and that is the Onion Skin paper itself. It is absolutely amazing. Everyone should try it. You've heard me talk about its characteristics, but it is rather delicate. It feels like it would be very easy to tear as you're turning pages, so you just want to take some care and attention with your journal, and you probably don't want something to sort of get jammed into it. I could see it tearing some of the pages at the edges and whatnot, but if you take care of this, it won't be a problem, but it's certainly something to think about as you decide whether or not this journal works for you. So another con with this journal is that it's relatively expensive compared to some other journals at 54 US dollars. Now remember, this is not just a pad of Tomoe River paper that's been glued together casually. This is not some moleskin journal that doesn't take fountain pens very well. This is an artisanal book that's been bound in the USA using very traditional methods, using a very rare and interesting paper. So if you look at it that way, that $54 is really quite a good value for what you are getting. I think for this quality of paper, for this level of craftsmanship, and just the fact that it's a small business and that it's made here in the United States, I think it's a very fair price at $54. And I've actually been so inspired by using this. I feel like there's some of that energy that Vanessa put into this company in getting beyond some of the struggles that she was dealing with just gets passed through the marketing and everything else and just gives you a little bit more lift. I have never written so many poems so quickly in my life and it's been a joy to use this journal and it's now another journal that I'm carrying with me Everywhere I go, I am just absolutely inspired by this journal and by Vanessa's story. So it's a fantastic, interesting journal, and I think you should consider it. So what do you think of the Onion Skin Journal? Is this a journal you'd like to try? What do you think of Onion Skin? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you've reached this point in the video, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it, and you can come on this journey with us. We're going to some amazing places. And if you want to support this channel even more, membership is available. Come on behind the scenes, see what's going on there. We have a pen pal group, we do Zoom meetings, we have a lot of fun. I'd love to see you there. So I make new videos all the time and I have a live show every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. So I can promise you, we will see each other again very, very soon, further up the road. So take care.